is FHG here with Furry Hippo Gaming, and today we're looking at some more AFK Arena. But before we get into the game, we're actually going to go ahead and look at Blue Stacks, guys. So Blue Stacks is the fastest emulator on the market, and it is the emulator that I use for AFK Arena as well as other games. And it is how I stream and bring all of my content to you. So looking at the the um, Blue Stacks itself, there are a couple things that I really like to utilize. One is, of course, when you look here up at the menu and the settings of the game itself, you can run core allocations, memory allocations, but you can change your frame rate. So you can actually, the higher the frame rate, the smoother gameplay it is going to be. That is what allows me to bring crystal clear resolution to AFK Arena, which is usually seen on a smaller device, such as a phone or a tablet. Bluestacks brings it full screen. I, I have a large monitor here that I can check out um, AFK Arena and see everything that is in there. Couple other things that they definitely bring is one, the game controls. So if you don't wanna use your mouse, you don't wanna click anywhere, you can actually click on your on-screen game controls. You can see these are all of the abilities that my heroes have, and it does have multiple game controls that you can set depending on your preferences. It also has a open macro recorder. Now AFK Arena specifically says they, they do not ban macros or they do not do not discourage macros, but they also do not approve them. So vice versa, um, this is the macro manager. So you can actually download or create some of your own macros to take care of some of the tedious things that come in with AFK Arena and other games. Couple other things, the trim memory. So trim memory, they actually have the ability to lower the memory that is used when it comes to running the emulator, which is very, very cool. It uses less RAM, it uses less um, CPU power, allowing you to really get into the game without having a huge, huge toll on your PC and possibly doing damage to the PC. They do have a take screenshot so you can capture all of those special moments. They also do have multi-instance manager. So this is one, one of my favorite aspects of Bluestack. So when you actually bring up the multi-instance manager, you can run multiple instances of the same game or you can run multiple instances with different games, which is very, very cool. So when I'm playing a couple different games, including AFK Arena, I can bring them all up at the same time and actually have my multiple monitors really functioning at the best because while something's going on in one game, I can have another instance running another game that I am trying to progress in as well. So it is very, very cool. And of course, the eco mode. So the eco mode allows you to run your PC at a much, much lower rate to allow Bluestacks to run in multiple instances, especially when it comes to slower PCs. So taking a look right here, I'm going to swap over my task manager. You can see Bluestacks right now is using 11.8 to 11.5, roughly amount of my CPU. The memory is around 135. So take a look at this when we kick on our eco mode here. So let me open this up. We'll turn on the eco mode. Bring that back up. There we go, guys, 7.5, 3.3. So again, it runs the frame rate, as you can see there in the back, just a little bit slower to allow the eco mode, so allowing the computer to not use so much CPU and memory um, to go ahead and run those processes in the background. So if I have basic processes or running macros, I can actually run this in the background without, again, a huge taxation when it comes to my PCU. When you're ready to play, just turn that rate back off. Boom, frame rates go back to normal and we can continue with AFK Arena. So looking at Bluestacks and Eco Mode, it uses 87% less CPU, 97 up to 97% less GPU usage than other ones. It has a memory trim, multi-instance, instance. it has Eco Mode. When you look at players that use this, there are over 500 million players that use this um, with over 20,000 games that are available. So you do have a ton of content on there. You can import macros depending on the game you're, you're um, building with. You can go ahead and build your own tools. There is a plethora of functionality within Bluestacks. So let's go ahead and get into AFK Arena, guys. So I'm actually gonna toggle this rate to full mode like you guys are used to seeing. We can actually switch over and get back to the regular setup. As you can see here with Blue Stacks, this is how I play AFK Arena, running through my dailies very, very quickly. I like to point and click. 
The only time that I do not is when um, I'm actually using my alts manually. So you do have an option to use your alts manually in AFK Arena. That way you can make sure that you're making the most of it and you're actually triggering your ultimate abilities when you want to. We'll turn it on four speed. We'll skip out of our battles right there. So going through, again, playing AFK Arena as well as other games, very, very smooth, always on blue stacks, guys. It is so, there is such a high clarity when it comes to um, running mobile games on here. It even looks better than it does on my phone and it runs absolutely flawless, guys. We have not had any problems with blue stacks. Never, I, I have never had any problems with blue stacks. So guys, if you're interested in AFK Arena, if you're interested in blue stacks, I will include a link down below so you can actually hop in here. You can go ahead and download AFK Arena and Blue Stacks so you can really check it out for yourself. Very, very cool game. It is in-depth. There is a lot. We have a insane amount of heroes in here to choose from. AFK Arena is such a very cool game. I've been covering it for almost two years now. And since I have started covering it on YouTube, it has been brought to you since day one. Even back then was Blue Stacks 3. Now we are on Blue Stacks 5. They continually make a ton of improvements to the system to make it run flawlessly. So guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Go out and down blue, download Blue Stacks, download AFK Arena. And as always, thank you guys for watching.